Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for staying tuned. Today we'll be looking at built up neck. I'm going to start with the center front. From the center front line, measure inward 3 eighths or half inch. Then square it up, up to the chest level. Square it up to the chest level. And um, when that is done, we are only trying to take out the S's from it. So our corset will sit perfectly. And to achieve your, uh, to, to locate your chest level, all you need to do from the neck, uh, from the collar neck down to uh, the underarm line, you measure and you divide into uh, three to locate your chest. So what I'm doing next is to determine my under bust, which I did. I'm going to square across. Then the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure three eighths, half, three eighths on both sides. Then I'll connect to uh, the remaining parts of my waist that which also I'm still going to connect to uh, the bust point as time goes on. Just let's just continue. So you you take uh, you square down to the dots on the waist. So you have accurate uh, measurement there. So what we are doing again is to measure from. Um, from the center front, not the center front, from that line, you know, we rule a line. You measure inward one centimeter. You measure inward one centimeter, then you rule it just the way it's done here. You rule it down. Now is to determine, um, to determine the bust hack. So I'm using this to determine my bust arc. All what I did is just to use uh, the measurement, the height of my chest, to determine that and uh, where my under bust is being located. So I'm connecting uh, the dots to the shoulder dots. That's the waist dots to the shoulder dots, so I can have a proper shape there. So what I'm doing again now is to open up uh, the shoulder darts by taking both, uh, by measuring one centimeter on on the other side and uh, 1.5 centimeter. Why I did that is to create more fullness since we are working on uh, corsets and uh, you know it's built in together there it is two in one so the first thing i'm doing now is i'm drafting the corset at the same time working on the upper parts that's the lace part and the lower part which is a satin then i've shaped the center front you can shape it whichever way you want but based on the picture based on the picture um we have it done in this direction. Then um, I've already shaped the the underarm. I mean, sorry, arm o. The arm o shaped here. It's for uh, the corsets, not for the lace. It's for the corset. So, like I said, I'm drafting both the corset and the uh, and the upper parts together. So now, from the corset, uh, from the hack, I measured three centimeter out. If the person is a is big, is, uh, if the person's bust is big, then you measure um, four centimeter. Now, from the tip of the shoulder, I measured half inch inward. Then, from the neckline downwards, I measured two inches. So I'm going to connect. 
so i'll connect with my cuff in this direction because what i want to do next is to build the neckline you know we are dealing with built up neck so i'm going to slash through i'm not cutting out i'm going to slash through in order to spread and uh, i'm slashing i'm going to spread now to incorporate the fullness for uh, the neckline so that's how it's going to be opened and it's not just going to be opened you're going to open it about two inches as well yes you can see two inches as well then you rule the you now connect from the tip of the from the tip of the neckline just the way it's done from the tip of the neckline into the bodies into the bodies so which means some parts will be cut out just just look yeah some parts will be cut out so we are not using the entire piece do you understand what i just said so you retrace you retrace the neckline and from the shoulder tip you measure one one and a half one one and a half inch inwards then you connect to the tip of the new neckline just to watch very simple you connect to the tip of the neckline in this direction yeah so we have a new neckline and that is our built up neckline now remember don't forget by the time you finish button drafting you need to have at least uh at least one centimeter one centimeter to the center front where we where we altered for the uh for the built up neck so that the you can pick that and it will sit perfectly so i'm tracing for the upper part which is the least part i'm tracing for that because i'm going to separate the corset from the upper parts now uh before i forget um i'm going to be working on uh where the where the, sh the now okay that's what i'm doing now i measured one and a half downwards and shaped that is where uh, that is where the lace sleeve. I mean, the the lace will be joined to the uh, to the uh, what's it called now to the corset. Yes, yeah, yeah. For you to have something to hold on to, since there's ham hole in it. So let me this is how it's going to look like at the end of the day. This is for the upper parts. Remember, like I said, had your seam allowance to just uh, where we shape for the neckline. Now I cut uh, the shoulder that away because you're peeking for uh, the upper parts. You're not this for the I'm working on the corset now you need to indicate your uh, boss point so you don't rule that out now that's the excess has been taken out at the end of the day you have a perfect uh, your 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 uh, corset belt to sit perfectly on you sorry I'm very strong, so I'm just trying to pick up. So this is just me labeling uh, the corsets, um, the corsets cut out, and um, I'm going to still work on it in order for you to see the finishing because we are joining the upper parts and the lower parts. I'm going to pieces it so we have two pieces because. Um, yes i'm going to do that now so we see what it looks like you're going to reshape uh reshape and um adjust what is needed to be adjusted what i did with the lower part is the same thing you're going to do with the 
upper part sorry you couldn't see that i didn't know my my uh, video was off that time at that time so uh for this you reshape at the at the middle where the boss point is i increased by uh by one and a quarter i mean one quarter that is one over four one quarter then i blend to the uh, i blend to the bodies of the corset the lower part so i'm cutting out so you will say ah she's not adding seam allowance she's not adding seam allowance you will add your own seam allowance at the end of the day welcome back welcome back so this is the center back i'm working on the center back the center back is very simple all you need to do is to add uh, your zipper allowance which i'm doing now i added one inch as my zipper allowance if you want you can use more but for this course i'm using um one inch and remember i'm only working on the upper parts the lower part of the dress is very simple it's just a skirt a pencil skirt that you had so for those that have trouble with the upper part that's why i'm illustrating this so when you finish uh, adding your zipper allowance on the shoulder points, just in just roll a straight line, roll a straight line just like I did. Then after which uh, you measure inwards half inch, half inch. Then you measure uh, from the neckline tip one inch. Then from that uh, on that line, I'm going to measure one and a half. Remember the back, the center front as well is one and a half. Then where I measured half inch, you can see I cuffed it to the neck so that uh, the neckline can sit properly. Then curve the where you have one and a half and the one inch curve it in this direction. Remember. On the center back line you need to roll one inch upward so you connect in this direction so you can re-blend the neckline so you can have a smooth neckline remember there's no seam allowance added you will be the one to add your seam allowance after which you finish drafting the pattern I did not have seam allowance thank you now this is the cut out this is the cut out of it of the center back so let's quickly look at the uh, sleeve though my sleeve is small i'm using a small scale so first and for is first is to determine the the height so is the lantern a uh, sleeve you the lower part which is the wrist this is the measurement you know what you want to use but this is it now at the lower parts of the uh, wrist in the middle measure out at least one one eight i mean sorry one one centimeter or 1.5 centimeter create a dot then when you do that cut it out before you cut it out the upper part you need to divide it into section different section so i've divided it into section i'm, I'm cutting out the lower part I mean to close that that's reason being that the uh, so that the uh, wrists could be more tighter and fitter I mean fitted not tight but fitted but remember you need to add zipper to the side of your uh, your uh, your cuff or you had loops to it so that you can be able to wear you can be able to wear so for this course remember either you use your zip or you use your loose loop sorry then uh, i'm going to number the upper parts of the crown i have about eight numbers so i'm going to cut into pieces because we are creating gathers on the crown and the lower part if you look at the sleeve the sleeve is the sleeve is gathered on the uh, at the upper part and at the lower part that went into the curve so i'm going to gather and for me to achieve that that's this is 
how to go about it so i'm going to put it i'm going to put each of them as the number goes on my paper and i'm going to incorporate fullness to it if you want you can use half inch you can use one inch you can use more depends on how full you want your sleeve or how much gather you want around the crown and the lower part so i'm just pinning down according to the numbers and uh, if you look in between their space those space is what i'm going to use as my gathering uh technique yes i'm going to use that to gather um that to create fullness for my sleeve so what i'm doing is just to mark in in order for me to uh, to know the amount of gathers i'm going to achieve and um, i'm retracing the crown don't mind that okay there's fullness no 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 i mean there's line i mean there's space in between just retrace just retrace and uh, at the lower part too, I'm going to retrace and add to it. I did not say I had it, uh, what is it called, seam allowance or ease allowance. I had it to it so that it will fall. So if you want, you can add one inch to it. You can add one and a half or half inch. Why I did that is for it to curve properly so that's the position i'm going to run my gathers uh, on and also at the hem that's the position i'm going to have my gathers then like i said i'll be adding a uh, fullness to the lower part so that and i'll curve it with my curve so at the end of the day the lower part can come more fuller uh, i hope you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can see that is not seam allowance. It's for to create more fullness at the lower part. So I'm cutting out. Remember, I did not have seam allowance. You will have your own seam allowance to it. So this is just illustration.